can imagine. Now, uh, you also, uh, one of the more things you did in the, in the past, you did a, uh, a documentary for Cheap Trick. Can you tell us about that? Because I want you to want me. There you go. There you go, man. Good, good, Larry. I, I know you're a rock and roll fan. I know you know you're a rock and roll, man. So I'm, I'm impressed that you remember the good old guys from Rockford, Illinois, Cheap Trick, one of my favorites from my childhood and growing up. And I'm, yeah, I got to know these guys and hang out with them. And they're just like regular down to earth Midwest guys. I've been out to, to Rick's house a few times from parties and uh, just great guys. And I, I, I was very, very lucky to get to, to know these guys and hang out with them. And and then uh, 1998 came along, and they had their annual Cheap Trick Fest. They, they just called it Trick Fest. And uh, I was like, hey, look, man, I got a background in, in videography, and I'd love to come out and do a little documentary for the Trick Fest, specifically for the fan club. And uh, they were like, yeah, man, bring, bring your camera with. And I just went around and interviewed the fans. I found as many fans as I possibly could that lived outside of the U.S., and I interviewed some guys from the U.S. too. Uh, so the, the interviews included people from uh, Japan, Australia, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Canada, and then a bunch of guys from, from all over the United States. And, uh, you know, Cheap Trick fans are like the sweetest people because Cheap Trick's a, just, a, a, just a cool band. You know, they're, they're not over the top. Like, you know, the kid, you know, maybe the Kiss fans are a little rough around the edges. Yeah, but the, the Cheap Trick fans were just like so polite and so nice and so I had I had a great time, and it was like I said, it was an honor just to to be able to do something like that. So yeah, we we uh, we had a great time. I had a great time. Let's take a quick look at something you've done there with uh, with that. Let's take a quick look. same category with ario speedwagon and sticks and survivor i mean cheap trick is just one of those classic rock bands from the midwest that like just took off into the stratosphere and sold millions of albums and performed all over the all over the world or internationally known but like i said they when they come to chicago you you know if you drive out to rockford sometimes you just see them hanging out in the jewel like buying groceries or you know may, maybe having a beer at the local saloon or something like that they're totally down to earth guys who Go up to them and ask them for an autograph. They'll autograph for you, and you know. And I guarantee, you, if you if you if you're around them enough, they'll they'll get to know you and they'll get, they'll remember your name. I'll tell you a quick story. I remember after a few years of hanging out with these guys, um, we uh, went and saw them at a concert up in Milwaukee. This is in the '90s, probably, and um, and I had gotten to know them a little bit. And uh, we walked a after the show. We found out they're going to hang out. They're going to be going to this hotel. And we were about, we were invited to go hang out with them because we were at that point we we're just sort of like part of the entourage. And uh, I remember walking into the hotel uh, into the hotel uh, lobby, Larry. And um, all of a sudden, I hear a voice go, "Hey, Matt!" And I'm like, I look over, and it's Robin Zander, the lead singer from Cheap Trick. And I I just like was like what the, this guy remember this guy knows me and he, and he got up and he came over and he shook my hand and i was just like um i i uh, i just like was, i couldn't even talk i was like this is the guy i used to have like the, the dream police poster and she trick up in my bedroom when i was a kid man and i was just like rob robin zander knows who i am it's like how it's like you know it's hard to when you know when something like that happens for the first time, we're just like, whoa, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it was cool. Very cool. <laughs> well, uh, definitely. I, I, it had to been exciting. And just to have somebody of that celebrity status to, to know who you are. Like I said, they're, they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? 